above us, you can tell what night it is. Probably not. Um, emo night tonight. I was planning on uh, vlogging, like me getting Lauren's makeup ready, but I didn't because I forgot. So while the things y'all missed, so I waved to Austin Knight, and a nice man helps me back up my car. Yeah, I'm currently on the hunt for the love of my life, Derek Descanio. Uh, only like two people are gonna know what that means. Anyways, recap. Lauren, close your eyes. Got gotcha. Josh Josh Gerard Way who? Stop, you don't even listen to My Chemical Romance. I know three songs. Actually, I probably know like a whole album, like. Hey vlog, we're on oh, Lauren's I car. That's not a video, I mean a picture. It's a video. It's uh, a we're on video. Lauren's car, we're in the parking lot of the Bomb Factory hoping we can see Derek Descanio, or Lost in Night, I mean, I guess, like, or that Lost Rocket Night. Summer guy. Bryce Avery? Yeah, Bryce him. Uh, my lipstick is like wearing off, good thing I brought like backup. If you want to know what I'm wearing, it's super smeared right now because I'm eating tacos. Um, it's usually a lot redder than this. It's uh, the NYX Butter Gloss. I forgot the shade. Cranberry pie. This is oh, Maddie. The doors are about to open. This is Libby. Y'all know Lauren. Hey, what do y'all want to say to the vlog? Derek Descanio looks like a rat. Thank you. I mean, you're not. Daddy's Daniel. Look still, who like, it is. Fire. We just yelled at him and John, and um, John was like, hey, you guys have the same hair. Hi, Libby. Um, so he said tight. He said tight. tight. I say tight. <laughs> We're literally the same person. I should have. So I know. He went like this. <laughs> he was like, he was like, yo, that's so tight. Austin walked by yet again, and y'all, let me talk. God. Okay. Austin and John walked by yet again, and I just, I thought I just saw Derek, but it's not him. <laughs> Everyone is Derek. <laughs> Everyone is Derek. I know, I like, was like, oh, I swore I saw him like three times. <laughs> we saw him, he walked by again. Libby and I told him to play Jingo, Jingo, <laughs> Bingo by Jacob Sartorius. And he was like, yo, my set's gonna suck tonight. And we're like, is Jacob Sartorius on it? And he said, yeah. And he so... smiled, like, if it's not there, do we yeah, have if like, it's the not, if it's not there, if he's not, if it's not on there, we have the right to sue him. We have the right to like. Get him. So we're on stage. Ah! <laughs> Update on the vlog. Hey guys, we're on stage. They yelled at me because I kept going to the edge and hyping people up, and they're like, "You can't do that anymore." And I don't know why he said why not, but he just said to stop, so I did because I'm a respectful person. Wow, icon. Why are we up here? Like we all. We all got on stage. Dan's here somewhere. Dan's over there. Do you want to say <laughs> hi to the vlog? This Hello. is Dan. I'm very sweaty. Hello. We're all very tired. <laughs> hi. Hello. I jammed out to Misery Business. It was like the greatest moment of my life. Uh, catch you later. I might have some videos.
you fucking vlog? My mom watches this. I'm so sorry. <laughs> we going? McDonald's. We've seen him like his like stage presence and stuff. So I thought that he was like low key like a rude person with like a little bit of an ego before tonight. But tonight, whenever he stayed and like talked to everyone, he was so nice and like seriously proved wrong. Austin is wholesome. I like him. Yeah, he really like is portrayed a lot differently on stage than like when you meet him in person. Yeah. Cause on stage, like he is a person who really likes attention. Yeah. Which like I relate to that. Like, literally, if you saw me on stage tonight, I was literally like uh, everywhere. Yeah. But then like I feel like when I talk to people, I'm like a lot less crazy depending yeah. on like the situation. Cause I can be pretty crazy. Sorry, you have to bleep that. <laughs> really, whenever he stayed afterwards and met every single person, I was like shook. Like. Yeah, that was so like, nice. Like Derek Despinia would never. I mean, I had to come. I'm kidding, up, I'm kidding, he did. I had to go up. No, not really. Well, I had to, not, not the same way. I had to like, like yeah, a lot less people went I'm, up to Derek. Yeah. But with Austin, like he genuinely wants to meet and talk to people and yeah, hug and people like, and make them feel like that, like more welcomed by the band. Um. So basically, what we're saying is that he had a DJ set tonight, and after he kind of stayed. And, like, there were people on stage, like, they, like, gave out wristbands like this, like, a certain amount of people, and we were lucky to get some, because I am loud. Um, but, basically, he was just staying kind of in the back corner of the stage, and there was, like, a group of girls, and they were all, like, like, always, like, um, just talking with him, and just, like, taking photos and stuff, and he stayed until there were, like, no more girls left. Yeah, And there so were a few nice. guys, too, I don't want to say, like, just girls. Yeah. But, yeah, he, like just stayed there and like he was taking photos and like even I like went back to him and I said something else and he still like wasn't like annoyed or anything like he wasn't like oh I have to go or whatever also as a joke I invited him to church tomorrow no way but what did he say he was like I have to go home I'm sorry I really wish I could that's so funny he comes to our bible study with Carrie Lynn I know I didn't give him the address or anything but oh, he just shows shoot. up where am I just me talking about how much I love Austin Knight uh but basically like I showed him my entertainment artwork the one with like the devil horn into like the galaxy and he like started freaking out he was like oh my god that's so tight like you're so talented that's so cool and i'm just like thanks oh also emo night's over i probably should have said that this is a different clip um i got this hat it has like the emo night logo it says texas because you know yeah lauren what'd you get you got she got, got vinyl for the rocket summer because all she does is listen to vinyl oh. Derek's That's set it. was disappointing. Derek's set was yikes. Derek's set was well, like, pretty he played, lame. What did he play? He played Skater Boy, and that was like, yeah, that was hit. like the only good part. Of and it. Downfall of the Song. That I was jamming to that. And the Rock Show, bro. Oh no, that wasn't him. Oh, it was after he left. Yeah. Ah, oh, dang. And like, girls were just touching his butt while he was playing music. Yeah, it's and just he was loving it. <laughs> <laughs> He's a player. Yeah. He's a huge player. Um. He was nice, like he took a photo with me and he took one room like that. Cause you know, he likes fans and he likes girls. <laughs> no. Um, he's nice, he's just not Austin nice. Cause I don't think really anyone outside of water parks can be as nice as them. Um, how was your experience tonight? Oh, it was awesome. Like just the whole time I was like on stage, like the photographers, it was so cool. Oh yeah, the, the photographers, photographers loved us. I high key, oh my gosh, there was this photographer girl wearing the same shirt as me and we bonded so hard and there was this photographer guy wearing an under a shirt and I saw him before the show, but then I saw him oh, during the show people. and he literally, and then, <gasps> and then the under earth dude, under earth freaking came on and so it was like the squad because we had already established that we were a squad, like we all found each other and we were like, hey! And then under came Did you on, really say like, under a squad? Uh, I did, yeah. They, did you? Uh, the girl like pointed to both of us and I go, hey, under a squad. And then they didn't respond and it was fine, but like, you know, whatever. <laughs> and so then, um, under a freaking came on, it was riding on the walls. The most iconic song to see live. Anyways, whatever. Did they play it? Yes, they played it and I was literally running around. And no, I mean last like, week. Like when you oh, saw them. yeah, they play it last because it's like most iconic. Ah. And, um, yeah, and so then the guy was like, t he like took pictures of me, and I was, and I was so okay. stoked. I was like, hey, under oath. One of the photographers came up to me, and he was like, you were, th what did he say? He said that you were like the most entertaining to like watch the whole night. And, like, he's like, you were the most entertaining the whole night. I was like, oh my god, what, what was he? He was gonna... so cool. He works for, uh, oh no, he's gonna, he's gonna post those on the um, emo night Facebook page. Hi. Him and the under oath girl. 
the other guy, he gave that guy is close with the under earth dude, and he works for Alt Press. So he's gonna the guy with the beard. There. Yeah. Tight. So, and then John works for Water Parks, cause you know. Duh! I know, cause I, he was like the the button up shirt guy. He's so cool. He was talking to me for so long about like all the photographers, and I asked him about one of them. And then he was like, he gave you the gossip. Them, yeah, he was like, some of them work on their own, and, I, he, and I'm doing video footage. And I go, I know John Rocha, and he goes, yeah. <laughs> I was like, John Rocha. Is, is that how you say his last name? John Rocha. Good. I, as far as I know, I mean, I haven't heard anything different. We're home from Emo Night. Well, I mean, we're at Lauren's home. We're listening to the Rocket Summer vinyl she got. It's pretty fancy. She's taking off her makeup and I'm just chilling. I was playing Pierce the Veil in the car, so I deserve this. <laughs> no, it's fine. I've been playing emo music she doesn't know. She was like, what's that Pierce the Veil song they played about Maria? I was like, that's all time low. And educated.